Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about geometric mean. So it says the geometric mean of two positive numbers a and b is the positive number x that satisfies the following proportion. So a divided by x is equal to x divided by b. Therefore we can write a couple equations here and the last one here is, is basically as simple as we can make it. So what we're doing here is if we would cross multiply, right, we would get x times x which is x squared equals a times b. So now if we uh, simplify here and take the square root of both sides, we end up with our most simplified equation for the geometric mean. So the geometric mean, we just multiply the two numbers together and then we take the square root of the product. Okay, so let's look at a couple examples. We're gonna start off here with an example where it just says find the geometric mean and then we're going to apply geometric mean to some right triangles. So find the geometric mean. So we can say x squared is equal to a times b. Right? And our two numbers are 8 and 10. So we can say x squared equals 80, and we can take the square root of both sides. So now this is going to give us x is equal to the square root of 80. Okay, So now here we want to simplify square root of 80. So we want to think about the factors of 80, or the perfect square factors of 80. And 16 is a factor of 80, because 16 times 5 is 80. And so now we can simplify this because the square root of 16 is 4, so we can pull that out, and we get 4 root 5. Okay, so our geometric mean would be 4 root 5. Okay, so now if we want to type that in our calculator and figure out a decimal for that, we could say this is approximately 8.9. Okay, all right, so now another way we could have started, um, let's say over here, Let's say we have x squared equals eight times 10. One thing we could have done is go ahead and take the square root up here. And now we can break apart eight and 10 into its perfect square factors. So we could say now x is equal to, and let's do two times four for eight, and let's do two times five for 10, okay? And so now what we have, I don't know what happened there, let's zoom back out. Now what we have is x equals square root, and we can know that four is a perfect square, and two times two is four, so we could write it like that. And now we can pull out square root of four and square root of four, okay? So this would be like two times two times the square root of five, and this would just leave us with four root five, okay? So that's just another way to simplify a radical, but our geometric mean here is four root five, or 8.9. Okay, so let's see how geometric mean applies to some altitudes with right triangles, okay? So our first one says the geometric mean altitude theorem. The length of the altitude is the geometric mean of the lengths of the two segments of the hypotenuse. So our altitude is right here, segment CD, and all it is saying is the, the length of our altitude, the length of segment CD, is equal to the geometric mean of are two segments of our hypotenuse. So if we look over here on the right, we can see how we have a our geometric mean set up. And so now we have CD squared is equal to AD times DB. So that's CD is our altitude, so our altitude squared is equal to the product of the two segments of the hypotenuse. So we simplify that by taking the square root. So as simple as we can make it, we can say the altitude is equal to the product of the hypotenuse segments, and then we take the square root of it, okay? So let's look at an example where we use the geometric mean altitude theorem. So it says find the value of x, so that is our altitude. So we can say x squared is equal to 10 times four and we're going to take the square root of both sides. So we can say x is equal to the square root of 40, and now we want to simplify the square root of 40. So we know that would be four times 10. So this can be the square root of four times 10, which we already had at the beginning, right? Okay, and so now we can simplify that because the square root of four is two, and now we have x is equal to two root 10. And just like we did previously, we could type that in our calculator if we wanted a decimal approximation, okay? All right, now let's look at another way the geometric mean is applied to a right triangle. It says the length, this is the geometric mean leg theorem. So now for this one it says, the length of each leg of the right triangle is the geometric mean of the lengths of the hypotenuse and the segment of the hypotenuse 
that is adjacent to the leg. Okay, so I know that is, that is a mouthful, right? So let's look at um, our diagram here and kind of what these two equations would be. So the length of each leg. So we're talking about the big triangle here. So if we look at our big triangle, that would be triangle A, B, C, right? That's our big triangle. So our two legs here, we've got a leg here and we've got our leg right there. So that's why we have CB and AC right there because those are our two legs of our large right triangle. So essentially what this theorem is telling us is that if I wanted to find the length of CB, which is the leg to the right here, I can just find the geometric mean of the hypotenuse, so that's AB, right, the entire hypotenuse, and the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent to the leg or next to the leg. So if I'm trying to find leg CB, well the part of the hypotenuse that is next to CB would be DB. So that's why AB and DB are part of my geometric mean equation here. So we would just take the length of the hypotenuse AB, multiply it by DB, and then we're gonna take the square root to find the length of that leg. Same thing applies for AC. We're still gonna do the whole hypotenuse AB, but now this time we would use the segment of the hypotenuse AD because that is the segment that is adjacent or next to the leg we're trying to find. Okay, so now let's apply the geometric mean leg theorem. So we're gonna find the values of X and Y here, uh, which is both of our legs that we're trying to find. Okay, so let's say we wanna find the, let's say we wanna find X first. Okay, so we're gonna say X squared is equal to, and now this is the length of the entire hypotenuse. So that's gonna be 11, right? Three plus eight is 11. And now we want the side or the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent, so that would be eight. So we're gonna say 11 times eight. So we get X squared is equal to 88. And now we can take the square root of both sides. And now we can think about 88 and its perfect square factors, so four times 22. So we could say four times 22. And we could pull out square root of four to be two root 22. Okay, so X is equal to two root 22. And now let's do the same thing for y. Now for this time for y, we're still gonna use 11 because we want the entire hypotenuse, but now this time we're gonna use the segment of the hypotenuse that is adjacent to our leg that we're trying to find, which in this case is y. So now we have y squared equals 33. We take the square root of both sides and we get y is just equal to the square root of 33 because 33 doesn't have any perfect square factors other than one. So we're gonna leave it as the square root of 33. Okay, and so that is the geometric mean, how to find the geometric mean between just two numbers, but then also how to apply the geometric mean to find the altitude of a right triangle and the missing legs of a right triangle.